Okay, so this is just a rare treat indeed. So up there, the bright one is Venus, and the one just above it is Jupiter, and they are incredibly close together to the point where, you know, it's about a full moon's distance between the two planets, which is just mind-blowingly close, seeing as these are the two brightest planets in the sky. And it turns out Venus is bright because it's very close to us, but quite small. Uh, in fact, it's actually much closer to us at the moment than the Sun is, whereas Jupiter, of course, is huge, but it's a long, long way away. So, um, in terms of angular size, the two planets, I'll show you through the telescope in a second, in terms of angular size, they're almost identical. All right. So let's see what we got. So, but in terms of brightness, so there they are, that's the two. Within a single telescope field, which is mind-blowingly close. So that one there is Venus, and if it was focused and not overexposed, Actually, so it's a fairly decent crescent at the moment. It's actually more of a crescent than that. It's a bit burnt out on the. Um, it's a bit burnt out on the video. Meanwhile, Jupiter, by comparison, is just really pale. Right? So it's got this almost ghostly look to it compared to Venus. I mean, Jupiter is Jupiter is just one of the brightest planets. I'm going to zoom right up on it. I mean, you see, it's a disc. Yeah. And uh, the red on one side, green on the other, is a sort of chromatic aberration, but. Uh, through the telescope, you actually see detail on the disk. That's actually the disk of the planet. So you actually see, you can compare the angular sizes of these two planets. Oops. Where are we? There we go. That's the angular size of the planets side by side. It's just incredible. So just so we're clear what you're looking at there, what you've got is Venus is dead close to us. Uh, it's about the same size as the Earth. Right, but it's close, which is why it seems so bright like that. And then you've got Jupiter, who is a long way away. Five times further from the Earth than the Sun. I'll show you what the full moon looks like on the same... Right, so what I'll do now, I'm going to zoom in my two planets. One, two, 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 two. There they are, look at that! And now I'm going to actually go and point this at the moon, so you just go and there, up there, on the same scale, is the moon. On the same scale. Cool, eh?